There are some minor changes, and we'll talk about those in a minute, but there are also a couple of major changes that you're making that um, might be stunning to some Oh, they are stunning. Scripture. Why don't you explain what those are? Yeah, Notice please. how he's we are not making taking two major. Hang on, go ahead. Notice that MacArthur's not taking responsibility for this. He says <laughs> that changes that you are making. Yeah. And the, the respondent now, that was MacArthur, is, uh, I think he's prof- Dr. Asher Chu, I think is his name. Who I've um, seen before, by the way. Yeah, I've seen him give talks at ETS yeah. and stuff. Um, so so that's the setup. So the idea well, is, what, what, not... what are the big features of this new LSB? Okay, let's hang on just a sec. Chu, first of all, is not a, a slouch. He's a scholar. And second of all, so is MacArthur in his own right. MacArthur yeah. knows the languages. He's the president of Masters. Yeah, I mean, he is a scholar. He's written a commentary on every book and every verse of the entire Bible. Think about that for a few seconds. What I mean, what a legacy that is. I don't care if you, if you're off. That's got to be at least two hundred pages. <laughs> I mean, the thing the the thing is is that I I mean, MacArthur's legacy, whether you agree with him or not, is impressive. It is an impressive legacy. And the guy still has to work eighty hours a week. Um, it's it, it, it's at, at eighty three. I think he's eighty three. Maybe he's eighty two. At eighty two years old, that's still very impressive. Working that much, uh, and working in the kingdom. With that said, we just lost Rob's video. Are you still with us, Rob? Oh, there you are. It's back. It'll be back. I just made an adjustment. Okay. Um, with that said, let's keep going. Yes, you are the you are right though. All of a sudden, MacArthur stops giving ownership to this and puts he says, it on. You've made. You've yeah, made you some made some major changes. Let's listen to what these changes are. Of scripture. Why don't you explain what those are? We are making two major changes in the Legacy Standard Bible. One is to translate the term Lord, capital L-O-R-D, that you see in many Bibles, to Yahweh, to actually use the name that God himself gave to his own people. Can we just stop for just a second? First of all, these guys are scholars. They should know better, and they do know better. They know better that... that uh, that the the pronunciation of the name has been lost and that scholars don't know what it is. And for all of the people who are getting ready to email me and tell me that Nehemia Gordon has found it, come on, ridiculous. Uh, no, he hasn't. His, his claims are as ridiculous as, I mean, the fact that he gets on stage with Michael Rood says it all. Um, but the idea that MacArthur, who, by the way, and MacArthur and Chu, these guys know better. They have chosen. I, so. I would think so. That... They've chosen a a pronunciation that they like for one reason or the other. Maybe it's standardized. Maybe they think, oh, it's what all the churches use. Okay, they've chosen a pronunciation, which means that they've all of a sudden taken sides, whether they know it or not. Well, not only that, it's an innovation. Exactly. Yeshua, Yeshua and the the apostles used Lord, <laughs> right? So they know better now. Right. They know better. They know better than Yeshua. This is a this is an innovation that is not uh, endorsed by Yeshua nor any of the disciples. You know, and they're they're putting the name on it and they're printing it. That's that's uh, it was, I think it's a good topic. Do you want to keep going? Let's keep going. That God Himself gave to His own people. God we, said, "My name is." Yahweh. Yahweh. And you should call me by that name. So we're going to obey him and call him by his name. And and that's important. Can that's we, so funny because we, we got to stop Shab- again. I know, but the Shabbat commandment, let's just go back to that. Like, <laughs> we, right? we should obey him. So they're calling this obedience. They want to reduce obedience and they want to flag it and parade it as obedience. That's. We want to obey him. Whew. Yeah. That, well, this the is... other thing, the other thing is, is that I mean, MacArthur knows. Uh, once again, MacArthur knows better. Chu knows better. The Semitic idea of the, the, a name. So, uh, so is it? You know, MacArthur would never say. I can guarantee that MacArthur's not going to say that a person who is deaf and mute can't be saved. <laughs> Good point. So obviously, that's a really good point. Obviously, it doesn't have to do with a pronunciation of a name. Uh, in the Semitic idea of a name, the, the person's name was who they were. It, it encompassed all of them. It didn't. It wasn't a title. 
it was who they are. And this is why it usually expresses something about the person. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and check out more videos from Messiah Matters.